Hey guys, I'm Peggy Dean and I am an artist. Today we are going to be playing with some fine tech pearlescents, which are metallic watercolors. And I'm going to show you just how opaque they are and what you can do uh, by coming out of the box of just using paper. Uh, we are going to dive into these adorable mini pots, which are terracotta and I'm going to show you how easily in just one clean sweep that you can cover this completely with this awesome metallic. First thing I'm just going to do is cover this completely so that you can see how fun this can be on your own. I am really partial to this color that we're using, which is called Arabic Gold. It almost has a, kind of a green tint to it, but it's really going to pop on this pot. So as you can see, this is very opaque, which is confusing to think that it's watercolor if you can get that much metallic in one coat. So imagine, and we will because we'll come back to it once this coat dries, what this is going to look like with two coats. It's just going to look like extreme paint is what we're going to call that. Um, I was going to cover everything, but I'm kind of liking how this is looking. So we're going to stick with it for now. And then I'm going to move on to Another one, and I've taped this off because I want to show you some really quick triangles so you can really have fun with some geometrics. So I'm going to select my color and come in here and just cover this part up. And that is it. I also have some space that I left toward the top here I'm going to take advantage of. And then I'm going to let that dry, come back to it, and then take the tape off. And let's say you want to use this little pot for seeds or something like that. You can put some really cute letters on there. We'll do where it says grow, how about? So you do want to be careful because it's curved, so know that this is probably going to be imperfect. But I think that that is kind of what adds character to it, just to put it, it's like your little handwriting. How adorable. And then I'm gonna go in on this one and I'm actually going to do a little bit of painting so that I can create a vine with some flowers. So I'm going to do this just by using the tip of my brush and coming through and then I can paint the leaf coming up the side. by putting more pressure on my brush and then going into less pressure at the tip. So we'll let that part dry and then we'll add a few flowers. And I want to let it dry, um, the reason why is because if it's not dry and I go in with a uh, complementary color like red, if it's still wet it'll bleed into that and that may or may not be a good thing but in this case I don't want it to bleed so I want to let that dry first. So I'm going to revisit the first one that we did. I'm just going to add one more coat. So you can really see that pop. All right, so that will dry, but you can see now that that is super vibrant. And from across the room, how cute is the separation with the terracotta and the metallic? Love that. Okay, so now I'm gonna return to this one and I'm going to peel the tape off so I can show you those nice clean lines that that made. I don't know about you, but the most satisfying with these projects is actually taking the tape off. Those clean lines. So that's another example of that separation with the metallic and the terracotta. Very fun. And this is dry now, so we're going to add some little flowers. And all that I'm gonna do to add flowers is use the edge of my brush, the side of it, and I'm going to use the tip of my brush as the center toward the center of the flower, and I'm just going to set it down like this, and that's creating kind of a petal. And that's all that you have to do, other than the ridge there, to create that shape. So there are 
three really fun, excuse me, four, if you wanna do this adorable little lettering one, um, four really fun projects that you can do with these mini pots to create a little added oomph, if you will. So, very, very fun. My name's Peggy Dean, and this is Fine Tech, and we'll see you next time.